everybody, welcome back to Some Guys Me Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about The Last of Us Episode 1 and I couldn't be more thrilled. For those who don't know, this is a new show on HBO Max based off of the 2013 Game of the Year. First, I want to start off by saying I've definitely played the game. I played it back in 2013. It was the sole reason I bought a PlayStation 3 at the time. And since I played it, it's become easily one of my favorite video games of all time. I think it's arguably the best video game of all time, right up there with Bioshock. I also bought the remastered version on PlayStation 4 when it came out and beat that on Grounded Plus. So I definitely have a lot of experience with the game. The Last of Us tells the story of a fungal infection that sparks a global pandemic and turns its victims into bloodthirsty attackers. In the story, we follow Joel and Ellie, who are our lead characters. Joel is played by Pedro Pascal. Ellie is played by Bella Ramsey. They are perfectly cast. They absolutely nail the characteristics of these characters from the video game. In the first episode, we see the pandemic actually happen, and then we go forward 20 years where we see Joel in Boston, and he's tasked with transporting Ellie. I really want to highlight the opening sequence of this show that's not in the game, and we get to see a news telecast of two scientists talking about this cordyceps virus and how it could turn into something far worse or more severe. I found it very chilling. And it reminded me of Craig Mazin, who's the creative director of the show, his previous work with Chernobyl. Awesome to see that they brought the composer back. I love that they kept the main theme music. Neil Druckmann, who's the creative director on The Last of Us, the game was heavily involved with this series. You can really tell a lot of love and care went into this. The tension is palpable throughout the whole episode. This is highlighted in a scene where Joel's daughter, Sarah, is in their neighbor's house. And out of focus, you see a character acting a bit strange. But also, when Tommy, Joel, and Sarah are all in the car together. Speaking of Sarah, played by Nico Parker, and she is fantastic as Joel's daughter. This was crucial to getting this episode right. All of the changes and enhancements to the story really elevate the original game. And these moments all happen in sections where it would have been gameplay. We get more details and expand upon certain things that maybe we had questions about from the game. And I think that that's a, a very strong aspect of this show. All the action that is in the show is very well done, well filmed. This adds to the tension that I previously mentioned. But also again highlights the incredible acting at play by Pedro Pascal, who just absolutely nails Joel. I can't get over how perfectly cast he is. I'm happy to report the scene from the video game in the opening sequence is absolutely perfect in the show. The emotion is all there. I honestly couldn't believe how well they, they translated this into the TV show. I hope that this level of quality continues throughout. I'm very excited for next week's episode. If I had to rate just this episode, I would definitely give it a perfect score, 10 out of 10. I thought it was brilliant. Have you seen it yet? If so, what did you think? Leave your comment down below, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.